We are at the Amstrad Germany Colloquium in Bochum. It's 2010, the yearly colloquium. And I meet here with Mr. Felix Koenig. Felix is the project manager of the new Compass 2 project, as well as the mission manager of Compass 1. Felix, can you tell us a bit about this small object that you have? Is this in fact a satellite? This is in fact the uh, engineering model, model from Compass 1 we have. Um, yeah, it's flying uh, since two years in orbit and um, it functions very well. And um, yeah, I will show you some functions of the satellite. First of all, um, the antenna deploy mechanism. Yeah. Um, I don't see any antennas. Yeah, right. It's uh, that one, that uh, small flexible ones. And um, when the satellite is in the launch pod, you have the antennas rolled up uh, like this. And um, when it's put in the, into the orbit, there's a r little release mechanism um, and the antennas deploy. Wow. Like this. So we will re receive um, with the dipole, uh, 70 centimeter dipole, and we send from the satellite with the two meter monopole. So these small wires, in fact, transmit all the data from the satellite down to Earth. Is that correct? That is correct, yes. Wow. Yes. Um, let's look around the satellite. On five sides of the satellite, we have our solar cells mounted. So these are two solar cells, one, two. R right. And um, we are providing about uh, five volts from yeah. each uh, double solar cell. Yeah. And um, we have about two watts we can uh, generate with these solar cells. What is the objective of the satellite? Is that to s transmit pictures or music or...? <laughs> no, uh, actually uh, that is, um, uh, the satellite is uh, for a technology demonstration. Yeah. And um, that was uh, mainly for a, a diploma thesis. thesis. Yeah. And um, we can, we can uh, transmit pictures to Earth. And so there's a, a camera inside? Yeah, we have a camera on the, uh, on the bottom wow. of, of the satellite. When it flies uh, through the orbit with the antenna down to Earth. Yes. And, um, yeah. and then the pictures are transmitted to Earth? Right, right. When we take a picture, it's immediately transmitted. So this is Compass 1, and it's a very small box. In fact, it's only 10 by 10 centimeters, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. And this it's is why it's called a CubeSat. Right, right. It's um, it's one liter volume. Yeah. And um, and yeah. will Compass 2 will Compass 2 be like this? No, no. Compass 2 will um, will be uh, a new technology uh, demonstrator. So we are we are planning to make a triple CubeSat. So, so Compass 2 Compass will be like this. Yeah, Compass 2 will be um, 10 to 10 to 13. Uh, 30 uh, centimeters yeah. and um, we will uh, then provide uh, two experimental boxes yeah. uh, around the satellite to, um, to some customers so that we um, can uh, put two variable uh, experiments in space. What is the objective of Compass 2? What did you not demonstrate in Compass 1 yet? Well, we just um, wanted to demonstrate our bus cube with Compass 1. Yeah. And in Compass 2 um, we can um, take the knowledge from Compass 1 for the bus cube. And in the outer cubes we can easily uh, mount every experiment that fits into uh, such a cube. And um, So it's a, it's a carrier for bigger experiments? Yeah, yeah right. It's a carrier um, to, um, to microgravity experiments in space. And yeah. when do you expect it to fly, Compass 2? Uh, we are expecting to fly Compass 2 in about three or four years. And um, we have now uh, finished our mm, modeling phase for uh, phase A. And um, we are now building some mock-up models in metal so that we can uh, see uh, where problems will be. So maybe next year at the next colloquium in Germany you can show the engineering model. Yeah, I will, definitely.
Well, thank you. I wish you a lot of success and good luck with the project. Thanks, Henk. Thanks, Felix.